Hello everybody, I am Mizba, your Maths Educator and we are over here with some MCQs in the chapter Circles. So let's start with it. Try doing this question guys. The length of the tangent to a circle from a point P which is 13 cm away from the center is 12. You have to find the radius of the circle. So obviously you have to make the figure first. The length of the tangent to a circle. So let's make a circle first. So you've got a circle over here. And there is a tangent at a point to this circle. So let's make this and you have to find the radii over here. So you have to join the corresponding radius through the point of contact. So from a point P, so the external point is P over here. And the distance of this point from the center of the circle is also given. Suppose the center of the circle is O. Suppose this is Q, it is all up to you. Now length of the uh, tangent is given to be 12 centimeter over here. And the distance of this point from the center of the circle is given to be 13 centimeter and you have to find the radius of the circle. This you have to find. Now you know that the tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. So this will be 90 degrees. I hope it is clear. So this is a right angle triangle in which you can use the Pythagoras theorem. So you know that r square over here plus 12 square will be equal to 13 square, right? So it's a very famous Pythagorean triplet but obviously see this is an MCQ you can do it directly but suppose if it comes in a subjective examination you have to write everything right. So this is 169 minus 144 which is nothing but 25 over here which is nothing but 5 square. See although this is a quadratic equation in R but over here we are talking about distance so we will not take out the negative value we will neglect the negative value right. So from here, can I not say that R is equal to 5 centimeter? So therefore, the radius of the circle over here is equal to 5 centimeter. I hope it is clear. So let's take the next question over here. So in figure, O is the center of the circle. PQ is a chord. These things are given. PR is a tangent at point P and it is making angle 50 with the chord PQ. So you have to find the value of reflex angle POQ. You have to find the value of angle POQ and it's reflex. Basically, you have to find the value of this angle. Reflex angle POQ. It means first you have to find angle POQ. If you have already got the value of angle POQ, you can easily find the value of reflex angle POQ. So let's do it over here, guys. See, the very first thing is you know that the tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. So this angle will be 90, right? Now one more thing, radii of the same circle are equal. These will be equal. Now you know that angles opposite to equal sides of a triangle are equal. So suppose this angle is x, so this will also be x. Yes or no? Now how can we find this x over here, guys? The total angle over here is 90. So from 90, you have to subtract 50, that's it. So x is coming out to be 40 degrees over here. Now, can we use angle sum property in triangle POQ? In triangle POQ, you can use the angle sum property. Can I say that 2x plus angle POQ is equal to 180 degrees over here? Now, x we have already got to be equal to 40 degrees plus angle POQ that is equal to 180 degrees. So, from here, can I find angle POQ? Angle POQ will come out to be equal to 100 degrees. I hope it is clear up till here. Now we have to find the value of reflex angle POQ. So whenever you find the value of reflex angle POQ, see the sum of these degrees around this point is 360. So reflex of any angle is 360 degree minus that angle. So that angle POQ we have got to be equal to 100 degrees. So the value of reflex angle POQ is equal to 260 degrees. So that is the answer. I hope this question is clear to you. Let us take the next MCQ. So in the given figure, PQ is a tangent to the outer circle. See, this is the situation. This is a tangent. This is also a tangent. PQ is given to be equal to 4 centimeter. OQ is given to be equal to 3 centimeter. OR is given to be equal to 2 centimeter over here. Then you have to find the value of PR. Right. Now you know that tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. 
although this is directly given 90 this will also be 90 see uh, the figure is not exact although it is not looking like 90 but it is 90 right you have to take it conceptually so basically i've got two right angle triangles one is p o q and the other one is p o r right so these are two right angle triangles in these two right angle triangles can we use the pythagoras theorem op is the hypotenuse in both of these triangles so can we say op square is equal to 3 square plus 4 square over here in the same manner can i say op square is equal to 2 square plus pr square so this is also is equal to 2 square plus pr square so from here you can find pr if you take this equation so pr square is equal to see this is 3 3 is a 9 4 4 is a 16 16 plus 9 is 25 minus 4 this is so this is 21 so can i say pr is coming out to be equal to square root of 21 over here and obviously in centimeter according to the question see again you will get two values over here but you are neglecting the negative value because distance cannot be negative so therefore pr is equal to square root of 21 in this question i hope it is clear let us take the next mcq so in the given figure these things are given just see this it is already given in front of you you have to find the semi perimeter of this triangle abc you have to find its semi perimeter semi perimeter means perimeter divided by 2 so see these are uh, mcq questions guys so maybe in some questions i'm not writing everything in detail but suppose if it is asked as a subjective question in the examination you have to write everything possible i hope it is clear to you okay so let's do it so over here uh, you see that ap is equal to 4 centimeter guys so can we not say that ar is also 4 because the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle they are equal so this is also 4 centimeter so now what is cr guys can i say cr is equal to ac minus ar yes or no so it will be ac is 9 so 9 minus 4 that is equal to 5 centimeter right so this is coming out to be 5 centimeter now you know that the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal so cq will also be equal to cr is equal to 5 centimeter it means this is also 5 centimeter right now again the same concept you will use can i not say that bp is equal to bq the same logic that is equal to 6 centimeter it means this is coming out to be 6 centimeter so you see you have got everything by which you can find the perimeter of triangle abc according to this question which is needed to be uh, uh, found over here so triangle abc if you take what is the perimeter of triangle abc guys it will be ab plus bc plus ac yes or no and over here you have to find the semi perimeter so divided by 2 now what is ab over here guys if you see ab ab is 6 plus 4 10 ab is 10 what is bc over here bc is 6 plus 5 11 right now ac is already given to you that is 9 centimeter so plus 9 over here divided by 2 if you simplify what you'll get over here 20 plus 10 30 divided by 2 so this is 15 centimeter so therefore the semi perimeter of this uh, triangle abc over here is uh, i'm sorry this is 15 centimeter okay so i hope it is clear to you i hope this question is clear to you okay so let's do one more question if two tangents inclined at an angle of 60 degree are drawn to a circle of radius 6 centimeter then you have to find the length of each tangent tangent over here so let's do it so basically you've got a circle over here and from an external point you are making two tangents to that circle you are making two tangents to that circle and they are inclined at an angle of 60 degrees right and we have radius of the circle is also given so see we have to join the corresponding radii through the points of contacts so you see this will be 90 this will also be 90 suppose the center of the circle is o suppose this is p this is q suppose this is r and you have to join this as well for this question i hope it is clear now radius of the circle is already given that is 6 centimeter right so you have to find the length of each tangent now you see 
these two tangents will be equal because tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. So you have to find these things, right? So let's do it over here. So over here, guys, the very first thing is, can I say that triangle OPR is congruent to triangle OQR? Can I say that by SSS congruency criterion? Yes or no? You can use RHS as well, but again, proof over here, you just have to understand, you don't have to do it actually. It's an MCQ obviously, because you see in OPR and OQR, lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. This is common and these two are equal radii of the same circle. So they are congruent by SSS or by RHS as well, you can do. It means we can say that if this is 30, uh, this is 30, this will also be 30. I hope it is clear. Now you have to find PR or QR, that is the same thing. So you can use any one out of these two triangles. So I'm using OPR over here. And can I do in this triangle tan 30 guys? So I can do tan 30. Tan theta is perpendicular upon base. So perpendicular for this angle is 6. And base is PR over here. This is PR. Now what is tan 30 guys? Tan 30 is nothing but 1 by root 3. And that is equal to 6 by PR. If you cross multiply, what is the value of PR guys? PR is equal to 6 root 3 centimeter. So this is the answer. Any doubt in this question? I hope it is clear to you. So that's all we needed to do in MCQs in the chapter circles.